<laughs> so we're going to be live on Epic's Instagram channel, so I just want to give you a heads up. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to describe your character. Okay. And five minutes, whatever. Um, then I'm going to ask you, like, what's something surprising you learned about Sid? Um, what do you admire about him? Okay, so. Are you guys ready? All right. <laughs> All right, friends and family, welcome back to the Pistol premiere of Epic Epic of of <laughs> <laughs> premiere of Pistol. In front of us, we have Lewis Partridge. Hi, welcome. How's it going? Good. Is it on this camera here? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to ask you, um, describe your character. Um, uh, he's many things. Yeah, he was many things, but I think I connected most with the, the sort of... Um, the soul within him that was, you didn't often see in the, in the well, you don't often see ever, really. Um, but he was a sweet guy. He was, he was young. He was extremely young uh, at the start and at the end. Um, and he was thrown into this crazy world um, that he didn't quite know and didn't understand. Um, not to sound condescending, but I can only imagine how, how chaotic that world must have been. Um, but, yeah, I think I admire his willingness to just sort of throw himself into stuff um, <laughs> and just to go at something with everything he's got. Um, but yeah, I think he's, I'm trying to think of words to describe him. I'm going to leave that out because I don't want to, I don't know if I can sum him up in a few words. He's many things. Well, what did you know prior to Sid Vicious that something that surprised you after doing surprised all the, me. after all the research and playing? To be honest, I, I couldn't believe how young he was. He was, he was 21 when he died. And so I thought I was, when I got the audition through, I was like, I'm not going to be able to play a sex pistol because in my head they were these older guys who sort of knew what they were doing in a way. Um, but now he was about 18, um, 18, 19, uh, when, when, it, when it was all sort of happening. So I couldn't believe how young and, and, and sort of innocent in that sense he was. And what kind of research did you do? Research. Man, there is so much out there. You take, like, there is just tons. And everyone knows something or has an opinion or is, you know, met Sid. I was in a taxi once and the guy goes, you know, I used to, I used to teach Sid bass back in the day. I said, you used to teach Sid bass? Um, I don't think that was true. <laughs> but my point is, I guess, everyone is connected to them in some way. Um, so it was hard trying to pick out what was, um, what was rumours and what was real and then where, to sort of where, where I played that. Because obviously what I'm doing is fiction. So on some level, I'm, um, you know, I'm having to create a character that's different from, from Sid uh, himself. But oh, I've forgotten the question now because I've been talking so long. <laughs> well, what kind of preparation did you read? Yes, I basically just read everything. I watched so many interviews, for the accent especially, I watched, there's this one great 25 minute interview where he just talks quite candidly. Um, and I just watched that over and over and over um, to get the accent and to sort of get a sense of who he was. And there were a load of books, but also uh, people who were there at the time came in and spoke to us. So that was a real, a real luxury to be able to get firsthand um, knowledge and information from them. And his singing, is that really you singing on the screen? Singing, did you see that? Have you, have you watched it? Yes, well, but I wanted yeah. to ask you though. <laughs> it is, it was me, um, for better or for worse. I did have a bit of singing training, would you believe? Um, but yeah, uh, it, it is me. And it's my first and probably last uh, um, singing uh, solo. <laughs> no, but you, you're excellent in it. Thank Were you, you very ever much. Were you nervous at all? Because it's big shoes to fill. To, yeah, to there, was, there was that, to be honest. There was that quite a bit. Because I can't, you know, coming up against Gary Oldman is quite a feat for anybody. Uh, so I, w I was very nervous in that sense. But at the same time, I had a, lo a load of con conversations with Danny. And we sort of came to the conclusion that we were making something different from that. Um, completely separate. Um, and we were aiming to do different things. So I, I, don't feel like I'm, I didn't feel like I was competing with his version of the character. I think they're different, to, written to do different things. And, and I think show that. Um, so I just tried to play him as a normal bloke, basically. Wow. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, you succeeded. You're, yeah, you're thank you very much. performance is powerful. Cheers, man. I think people are going to love it. Oh, I appreciate and that. One last question, though. What do you hope viewers will take away from your performance? Well, I just hope, like, I knew nothing to start. I hope, I hope it educates a load, of, uh, a load of the new generation to them, because I feel I knew nothing about them. I just knew I'd heard a bit of their music. And so to be able to... To, to have an insight into what that was about and why they did the things that they did that people view now as shocking and crazy, um, which admittedly they were, but there was a reason behind it. And I, I hope people fall into that and I hope people love the, the, the music. I would love to see a massive spike in the Spotify 
like the, the streaming of their tunes. I'd love that. Um, but also, yeah, just learn a bit, a bit about the people behind the behind the icons. Well, thank you so much for stopping no, by you. and congratulations Cheers. for everything you've done. Cheers. <laughs> Have fun. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers.